Got to say thanks again to Corby. So we are in the airport on our way home. But this is what we got up to yesterday on the test track. It's 25 degrees here. And it's 32 degrees here. And this is the this is the electric one. So do you want to show me? Well, so anyway, it just looks the same as ours, but obviously it's white. Um, and then, yeah, it's it's fully electric. So we're gonna, that's where the charger goes in, I think. Same charger as my car, actually. No idea how that goes back on. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's a bit of a prototype, this one. It's the one that they use for testing. So we've got a test track with some humps and bumps and things to drive over, different inclines. So let's have a play. Put your AC button, you're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> then you can hold the camera because we're going um, off roading. Right, so we're in neutral, high, let's go. Electric vehicle, saving the planet. Ooh. It flies, it's like. the same as it did just before and then the, this is like that when you come down but if i take my foot completely off the throttle yeah it charges it it charges it and it's like completely you don't need the brakes it's like charging the batteries and holding it back as yeah, it yeah. Down. so you've got you've got more control actually than a combustion engine and then look at these rocks here now it'll just you think you're gonna like smash the sump absorbs them and then that must be 50 degrees watch <laughs> you'll actually go right over the top but we don't want to take the front bumper off go back a bit now plastic skid pan because if it hits an object it just bounces back to its original position whereas if it was metal it would dent it for good so if you listen hear that hit the floor then yeah, yeah. it just flexes and just goes back to how it should be and it obviously doesn't have to if it takes the paint off it doesn't matter and these craters here just, I don't know how it does that but surely they're like bigger than the wheels it was popping the wheel off the ground before like yeah Beast, it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back into high. There we go. Here's Andrew are off.
see if how fast it goes down there. 45k. What are you doing now? <laughs> You're off. <Hi>. Go! <laughs> you can hear Andrew giggling from over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only needs three wheels. Well, Andrew's been fully inducted. We're now in power and high range. Ready? Sea belts on, let's go. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this one's good because of Ben's bank. Whoa. <laughs> I think you should be low box for going down the other side. Uh, maybe not. Uh -oh. Let's see if we can see the wheels now. You can. <laughs> the rock crawl. <laughs> That's what we've just gone over. Let's put it in low for that. Yeah, just putting it neutral low. You can hear it change gear, guy. Let's go. Don't forget you'll have to brake at the top because it lit the tire. Ah, it slides. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you want to slide, don't we? Jump it. I'll get him in before you like, don't stop, stop, stop. Don't run away. Whoa. this one went flat out this way. This is the ditch, innit? You can't see it on the camera, but that's a bit of a ditch. Then the hump. Hey! 
It would jump that, you know. Should we ask him? Can we jump that? Ask, ask him, yeah, we'll do that. And the craters. I couldn't understand how it did it before, but it's because it just hovers the wheels over. How smooth. It's only just for You could put a cup it? in there, drive over that, and it probably wouldn't spill. As long as you'd eaten the first oh, bit, drunk the first I'm bit. I'm not driving either. <laughs> I think this is the first electric vehicle um, of this kind that's developed to go off-road, not a golf club, in, you know, adapted. A golf cart adapted. I think we jump on it. Yeah. This is inside the petrol, the electric one. Digital dashboard, power and range on the switches, high and low on the gearboxes. So that basically you can drive for a lot further. That'll give you a lot faster response from, from the electric motors, but obviously the range will decrease. Uh, high and low there, switch on there to turn it on and off. Obviously, it makes no noise when it's running now. This hasn't got a front opening screen, it is an option. Our one does. Uh, I think most of the ones coming to the UK are all front opening front screens because that's how we like them. Got to thank Corvus for letting us come look around the factory and letting us have a good play with this. The electric one is actually better off-road, I would say, than the diesel because you've got a lot more control coming down the slopes. And the best thing is as well, it's charging the batteries as you go downhill. Back in Liverpool now, a little bit colder than where we've just been. Anyway, I'm going to go home and do the birthday bump for you. Got me audio on now because it is a bit chilly in the UK than it was in Spain. Anyway, Matthew Styles is 43 today. Stephanie Horn all the way from Pennsylvania in the USA. It's her birthday and George Kirby. Only three on the birthday bump today, but still 32,651 raised for the Northwest Air Ambulance. Anyway, I will need to say thank you once again to Corvus, who let us have a good route round their factory. Play extremely hard with the, the machines and look at some other exciting stuff that they're doing so thanks a lot to them anyway i hope you've enjoyed today's video it, it's um it's obviously just quite heavy on this kind of content but it was bad weather um it kind of worked it was ian's birthday as well so ah wait yeah, there's one more name on the birthday bumper. The Zian is on there as well. Yeah, it was his birthday as well, and we were watching the weather, and it was something that we talked about in February. No, was it? When was Lama at Lama about going over to have a look how these were made? Anyway, it didn't look like it was going to work this season, and then suddenly the weather was going to turn for the worst. We kind of caught up with a bit of spraying. I had some seed not arrive, and he had some spray as well not arrive. So last minute thing, we shot off and visit the factory anyway thanks again for watching don't forget if you made this far click like the quiz question yesterday actually was the rails that the seats sit on but you can't see them because of the plastic um toolboxes underneath hide them so when i first saw them i was like what are them i don't recognize them whatsoever but it makes sense now anyway i'm going